Hi guys, in this tutorial I will show you how to make a easy car slide in effect in After Effects, let's begin. First I'm going to scroll to the last clip where I want to add the effect, and then I'll duplicate it. Right click on the duplicated layer, go to time and select freeze frame. Then drag that layer back for a few seconds like this, and stretch the end until it lines up with where the original clip starts. Since we have the still image ready, we can use the pen tool to mask out the car and isolate it from the background. Once you're done masking, scroll to the end of the layer and press P on your keyboard to reveal the position. Click the stopwatch icon next to position to add a keyframe, then scroll to the beginning of the layer and move the car's position all the way to the left or right, it's up to you. If you play the video, the animation will look linear. To smooth it out, select the pan tool again and slightly curve the position path like this. Let's quickly check it. Looks smoother and better. Now select both position keyframes and press F9 on your keyboard to easy ease them. Then open the graph editor, right click inside it, choose edit speed graph and adjust the curve to make it smooth. Let's also enable motion blur and check the animation again. It looks good to me. You can leave it like this, or enhance it with some effects. For example I'm going to add a pixel effect. Apply CC block load effect on that layer. Let's set scans to 10. Then change completion. I'll set it to 10 and scroll to the beginning of the layer. Click the stopwatch icon next to completion to add a keyframe. Now scroll to the end of the layer and change completion to 100. Let's check it one more time. It looks good, but let's apply one more effect. This time I'll use a plugin called Glitchify. First duplicate the layer, then select the bottom one and delete the CC block load effect from it. On that layer, apply the Glitchify effect. Expand the color glitch and toggle it off, then do the same for image glitch. Next expand channel glitch, then open channel split and channel scale. Under channel scale, check the vertical option and set both offset and speed multiplier to zero. Set the scale to around 70, then change the horizontal amount to zero. Next expand the advanced, then channel scale, and check the fill gaps option. Scroll to the beginning of the layer, click the glitchify amount stopwatch icon to add a keyframe, and set the value to 70. Then scroll to the end of the layer and change the glitchify amount to zero. Let's check the effect one more time. Let's add some shakes now, I will skip shakes part because I have made too much shake tutorials, also I have made 16 unique shake presets that you can get from the link in description, check how it looks like with my shake presets. Hope this video was helpful, thanks for watching and like the video please.